Today we are going to analyze one of the best paddle serves on the World Paddle Tour because Sancho Gutierrez has some tricks that today we are going to review. So if you want to learn the 5 keys to do the best serve possible, watch this video till the end. Hello tour players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. First of all, like in any other paddle shot, we need to talk about the preparation. But the serve is a special shot. Think that in every shot in paddle, the ball comes to you from your opponent. That means that you cannot control the speed or the angle of that ball coming to you. But the serve is an exception. It's the only shot in paddle where you can control the speed, the bounce, the angle of the ball before you hit it. So how the hell is possible that people cannot control their serve? But if we think about Sanjo, he has a really unique style. He prepares the serve really fast. Other players like Juan Lebron bounce the ball 10 times, but Sanjo only bounces once or twice. That means that Sanjo don't need too much concentration to do a serve and start the point. He knows that there are just three directions for the serve. The the glass, the body and the middle of the court. Sanjo most of the times talk with his partner to advise him where is he's gonna serve. Doing that you can anticipate the next ball and be more aggressive. We can also see how Sanjo looked to the opponent before the last bounce. Doing this he can get a final reference of the angle and speed needed for his serve. But then he never raised his head until he has done the serve. And this is crucial. We need to have eye contact with the ball until we hit it. Not just in the serve but in every paddle shot. If you are doing a volley, look at the ball until you hit it. You will gain control and if a pro player does it, it's for something. One more reason behind why Sanjo don't take too much time preparing the serve is his game style. Because we need to understand how we are as a paddle players. Do we need to have a really high intensity on the game? Is it better to us to breathe a little bit and think about what we are doing good and bad? Sanjo is one of the first kind of players. He has everything on his mind so he doesn't need to breathe too much between serves. But think about yourselves to copy or not this thing. If you would like to have the same surf as Sanjo, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's free. Time to talk about the most important thing, how Sanjo hits the ball. And I must start talking about how he moves, because like in any other paddle shot, it's not 100% how you move the racket or your arm, but how you move your whole body. Always remember that in any paddle serve, what we are looking for is to reach the net as soon as possible. Doing that, we are gonna start the point attacking. We need to serve and move forward till reach the same level than our partner that should be standing close to the net waiting for us. So in the serve, moving our whole body at the same time that we hit the ball is super important for two reasons. First, reach the net and start attacking as soon as possible. And second, add to the ball our body weight to do a more aggressive shot. But to be able to move while serving, there is one super tip, where we bounce the ball before the shot. Look how Sanjo, in the last bounce before he hits the ball, he has his arm completely stretched. Doing this, the ball would bounce far enough from our body to give us room to move and hit the ball properly. And here I have one more super tip for the serve. Can you see how Sanjo touches his racket with the ball before the last bounce? That simple thing can help us to hit with the sweet spot on the serve. We are telling our mind that we need to hit the ball with that area on the racket. And magically it works! You can see how many other pro players do the same even though they do it with different areas of the rackets. Next thing to analyze is how Sanjo moves his racket. See that after he touches the ball with the racket, he moves the racket up until it is behind his head. And this is super important for every paddle player. We need to do a slice shot on the serve. So the only way to do it is hitting the ball up to down. So one more tip here. Once you start the movement of your racket up to your head, don't stop. Once the racket touches your head, go down and straight, adding your body weight. One more important aspect of Sanjo's surf is the height. Some of you probably don't push the ball when bounce it. You just let the ball bounce and that is a mistake. You need to gain height in order to make the net lower. The lower you hit the surf, the higher the net will be and the more difficult your shot will be. See how Sanjo pushed the ball and hit it once it reaches the maximum height at his waist. He can take advantage of that, adding more speed to the ball and look for a more aggressive shot. Once Sanjo hits the ball and while moving, he starts to look up and look for the next ball. His racket went almost until his neck, but then he recovers the standard position to be ready for the next ball. 
And there comes one of the key points that is the first volley. It is something mandatory to not miss the first volley after your serve. Actually, you should repeat the same direction that you had on your serve, but this time with your volley. Doing this, you will find more space as one player of your opponents has moved. Well, this is the analysis of Sanjo's serve. Which shot and from which player would you like to see on the channel? Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one.